it isn't about politics, it's about money, will Hollywood take Johnny Depp back? Johnny Depp can probably thank his lawyers and PR for suddenly having a shot at a dramatic public image resurrection, but the question remains whether Hollywood will soon restore him to the big screen he used to dominate in the wake of his dramatic win in the defamation case against his ex-wife and fellow star Amber Heard, though Heard herself also won on one count against her former husband's agent, speculation is now rife that Depp may go back to movies. Despite his own claims that he has no interest in returning to the franchise blockbusters that for at least some of that second chance, Depp can thank Matthew Hiltzik, a New York-based public relations manager with a long record in crisis PR. Unlike Depp's trial attorneys, Ben Chu and Camille Vasquez, who have this week made joint talk show appearances following the conclusion of the trial, Hiltzik, 50, has remained, strategically. If a PR strategy is by definition to manage relationships with the public, then any PR strategy Depp had cannot be untangled from the legal strategy, said Amber Melville Brown, head of the U.S. media and reputation team at Withers. At the legal victory in the U.S. libel court is the tool by which he could reclaim his reputation, reanimate the love of any flagging fans, recharge him within his industry and rehabilitate in the world. But with the defamation case now resolved, it is up to Hiltzik to continue the process of rehabilitating Depp's image to the point that Hollywood's studio bosses and big directors can no longer deny that his commercial potential as an actor outweighs lingering concerns about reputation, and the many heard fans still loudly proclaiming their Hiltzik, whose father is a Hollywood entertainment attorney started his career in PR at Harvey Weinstein's Miramax after working on a listening tour that kicked off Hillary Clinton's successful run for U.S. He launched Freud Communications in the U.S. before starting Hiltzik Strategies in 2008, where his celebrities and crisis clients have included Alec Baldwin, thrown off an American Airlines flight, Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte, falsely reported being robbed at gunpoint in Rio de Janeiro. Harvey Weinstein, convicted of sex crimes, Brad Pitt after his split from Angelina Jolie in the crying concert. Two of Hiltzik's protégés, Hope Hicks and Josh Raffel, became key White House confidants of President Donald Trump and his son-in-law Jared Kushner. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Hiltzik's PR approach is to be ideologically detached from the client's bidding. Depp's legal and PR teams, working hand-in-glove probably recognized that Depp fans, who had gone quiet after Hurt's initial domestic abuse allegations in 2016, started chiming in after Depp's U.S. defamation lawsuit was filed three Depp's had a natural fan base and the trial reinvigorated it, reinforced it, and brought in other people who were on the fence when they realized it was okay to support Johnny Depp, said Judah Engelmeyer at Herald PR, a friend of Hiltzik throughout the trial. And during a week-long intermission, the PRs for both parties continued press outreach efforts in an effort to mix testimony with positive sources close to spin. Her, unhappy with her initial representation, switched out her press team early in the case. People were initially reluctant to get behind the man in a case like this, because you don't want to be the one attacked on social media for supporting the abuser said Engelmeyer. Until the fans realized they had a support base among each other, and the trial allowed for that, you didn't see that much support. Then it snowballed. But despite the trial being over, some of the fault lines that were put so brutally on public display remain. In the days since the verdict for Depp, both sides have continued their respective campaigns, something that could still make a Hollywood studio nervous. Depp went on tour with Jeff Beck joined TikTok to say he was moving on, and allowed his legal team to signal on Good Morning America that Depp may not hold her to the court's $10. 35 meters judgment. At each turn, Heard's lawyers and PR team have sought to return the issue to the hashtag MeToo movement. As Johnny Depp says he's moving forward, women's rights are moving backward, a Heard spokesperson said last week. Depp's star attorney Vasquez countered on Friday in an interview with People magazine, We all believe that women should, and victims, regardless of gender, 
should come forward and have their day in court, domestic violence doesn't have dot but there is a discernible shift in mood. At trial, Depp's legal and PR teams appeared careful to not dwell on hashtag MeToo or cancel it was left to Richard Marks, the Hollywood deal negotiator, to spell it out. An actor's reputation, he said, is synonymous with the product you want a reputation that supports the value that you spent on creating that product, especially in the last five years, with the hashtag MeToo movement, you wouldn't want negativity hiring an actor who, quote unquote, had been dot but the media and entertainment businesses does appear to be reevaluating Depp and weighing a possible comeback since the verdict, actors and models, including Zoe Saldana, Emma Roberts, Patti Smith, Bella Hadid, Helena Christensen and Jennifer Aniston have liked Depp's post-verdict statement to his 25 million Instagram followers saying he was true. Thomas Doherty, author of Show Trial, about the 50s Hollywood blacklist and the Red Scare, says Depp's trial could be seen as akin to those of Fatty Arbuckle, accused and later cleared on rape and murder charges, or Charlie Chaplin accused of communist sympathies and questioned for his involvement in a p It's difficult to get your reputation back, and that's maybe one of the reasons the Depp case has such resonance, Doherty said. That fan letter might be a tipping point where you can feel the culture shift. But while Hollywood weighs its options, another lucrative industry is already reaching out, fashion. The French luxury brandy or never drop Depp as the face of its Sauvage fragrance and sales are reportedly up. The interjection of supermodel Kate Moss into the trial in support of Deb signaled that the fashion world often takes a different approach. Fashion can't really afford to exile people for very long, because it's about the constant recirculating and refashioning of ideas, images, people, tropes and also pushing boundaries of good taste and propriety said New York fashion marketing consultant Bonnie M. Hollywood, many anticipate, may also soon come round when the weight of public support evident on social media during the case and now, allows for an opportunity to test Depp before a film off. In some ways, Depp's behavior at the trial itself was even a kind of audition. He was being humorous, aloof making comments or doing things that reminded people of why they he was pretty much being Jack Sparrow and his fans saw that, said Engelmeyer. And, of course, in the end what really matters to Hollywood is the potential bottom line. Los Angeles lawyer Allison Hope Weiner said, Hollywood isn't about politics. It's about business and making money. They want to make a product that appeals to the largest audience.